hi everyone welcome back to my channel this is Jembe from Aliti creations and thank you for the support and love that you're showing me today i'm going to show you how to make this um spring summer top with a simple sexy tie back but before i continue if you haven't subscribed subscribe turn on notifications so you're notified when i post new videos the stitches I'm going to use is a single crochet, a back loop single crochet, a half bun stitch, crossed half double crochet, front post half double crochet, and back post half double crochet. And I'll be showing you the stitches as we go along. I have a written pattern which you can find in the link uh, in the description box below. But if your sizing is not there or you can freeform, you need to just take a measurement of your bust and divide it by two. And that's the measurement we're going to work with throughout. You're going to need some yarn. I'm using light worsted or double knit yarn, a pair of scissors, a five millimeter hook, a darning needle and a tape. To begin, you're going to make a slip knot and then you're going to work a chain of 11. And then you're going to work a single crochet in the second stitch from hook and single crochet through all the stitches. chain one and then turn and then we're going to work in the back loop only in single crochet so single crochet in the back loop only to start um, the ribbing And you're going to work until the end of the row. And there's your weaving and starting and then chain one and continue with the back loop. You're going to continue working your ribbing until it's half your bust area in length so my my bust is 34 and i'm going to work my ribbing until it's 17 inches I'm now done with my weaving and I'm just going to check the measurement to make sure it's half um, the size of my bust which is 17 inches and then I'm going to start working the rest of the body of the top so I'm going to start working the body so I'm going to chain two then work the ribbing in each row so just follow the rules as they are so if you have 60 rows you should end up with 
60 stitches, including your turning chain. It's important you do this so that your work is even. And just continue working your half double crochet until the end of the row. And I'll see you at the end of the row. I'm now at the end of my row. And I'm just going to finish with a half double crochet at the end. As you can see there, it's finished. Then I'm going to start working the half bun stitch, which is chain three. Turn your work. Skip the first stitch. In the second stitch, yarn over, insert your hook in the second stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, insert in the same stitch, yarn over, pull through, you have five loops on the hook, yarn over and pull through all five loops, and then chain one to close the half button. Skip one, yarn over, insert in the stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, Insert again, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all five stitches on the loop, chain one to close the stitch. Let's do it one more time. Yarn over, insert, pull through, yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through five loops, chain one. And you're going to continue with the half bun stitch until the end of the row and I'm going to see you when I have three stitches left to the end of the row I am now working my last bun half bun and then I just work a half double crochet in the very last stitch and then that's it um, I would encourage you to take note of how many half pins you have so you can keep checking as you go along in the next row you're going to chain three Again, turn, skip the first stitch, skip the first pin and work a half pin in the chain space, chain one and work half pin in all the chain spaces until the end of the row. And I'll see you at the end of the row when I'm done with my half bun stitch. I'm finishing my row. I'm working the last half bun stitch and then work a half double crochet in the second chain of the hook. And from here, you're just going to work this row um, until you have your size from above the bust to below your navel area and I'm going to see you when I'm done with my size I'm working an extra small just for information and as I previously stated the written pattern is in the link in the description box below and I'll see you when I'm done with my sizing
I'm now done with my sizing. It's about um, 10 inches, inclu including the ribbing. And it falls just below my navel. You can make it as long or as short as you want here. Then chain two, turn your work, and then work a half double crochet in all the stitches. So you're going to work half double crochet in the stitch and half double crochet in the bin stitch. Half double crochet in the chain space and half double crochet in the bin stitch. Here, it is important that when you're working your half double crochet at the end of a row, you end up with the exact same stitches as you started with when you worked your first half double crochet or the same number of um, rows you have for your ribbing. So just make sure that that's what you have otherwise your work is going to look skewed. So just make sure you have the same number of stitches and I'm going to see you at the end of the row. I am now at the end of my row and I'm just going to finish with a half double crochet and then chain two and then turn and here we're going to work the crossed half double crochet which is you skip the first chain half double crochet in the next chain go back to the skip chain and half double crochet in it gonna form an X skip the next half double crochet in the next go back to the skip chain and half double crochet skip half double crochet in the next stitch and then go back to the skip stitch and half double crochet skip half double crochet in the next stitch and then go back and half double crochet in the next stitch and just continue like this until the end of the row and I will see you at the end of the crossed stitch row, the half double crochet cross stitch row. And then work half double crochet in all the stitches. So this row is not cross stitch, it's just a normal half double crochet. And I'm going to um, see you when I'm done working this row.
I'm now at the end of the row so I'm just going to finish with the half double crochet and then chain two turn and from here I'm going to work another crossed half double crochet and depending on the sizing we're just going to repeat the half double crochet and the cross double crochet um, three more times to end up with four um, sets of half double crochet and crossed half double crochet um, depending on the size you may need to work a little bit more I'm going for six inches from above my bust area to my neck um, opening so just work four rows but you may need to work a few more rows i have done i've worked out the sizing for each um size which you can find in the reading pattern in the description box below so i'm just going to work uh, my three sets of half to crochet and um double crochet and then i'm going to see you to make the neck opening I'm now done with my four sets of half double crochet and crossed half double crochet and I'm going to form neck opening so I'm going to half double crochet 15 stitches make a chain of 34 and then half double crochet the other 15 stitches I'm working a small so that's the sizing as a guide what you can do is remove 34 stitches from your number of stitches divide by two and work the divisions on the side as your shoulders and then here I'm going to chain 34 skip 34 stitches so for all sizes you skip 34 stitches the neck opening is the same and whatever stitches you have we divide by two and work them on either sides of the shoulders and then in the 34th stitch half double crochet sorry yeah and then half double crochet until the end of the row make sure that you have the same number of stitches on each side so your work doesn't look skewed this is the middle stitch between your front and your back middle row sorry the middle row between your front and your back I'm done with this row make sure it's centered and both sides of your shoulders are equal and your neck is centered and then from here we're going to work the back so we're going to work the sets of half double crochet and cross half double crochet twice as much so if you worked four at the front you're going to work eight at the back so you're going to start with the half double crochet row in all the stitches including the chain that you made again just check and make sure you still have the same number of stitches that you started with i started with 64 and here i should still have 64 stitches so 
So I'm going to see you at the end of the row. And then from here, I'm going to work another row of crossed half double crochet and then a row of half double crochet and I'm going to continue until I have twice the number of sets as I worked at the front. So at the front I worked four sets of half double crochet and crossed half double crochet. At the back I'm going to work eight sets. So in total I'm going to have 16 rows. For the other sizes you can check the written pattern, the link I've put in the description box below. And I'm going to see you when I'm done working my back uh, flap. I'm done with my 16th row at the back as you can see so at the front the four sets and at the back the eight sets so and that's that then I'm going to work the aging to um, create a frame for the cord so what I do is I chain two and I'm going to work half double crochet. I'm going to divide my stitches into two. So since they're equal, I have 64, I'm going to work 32 stitches to the center of my work. So exactly half the number of stitches. So you work exactly half the number of stitches. And I will see you when I get to my half. And I am now working in my 32nd stitch and in there I'm going to work two half double crochets and then chain two and then work two half double crochets in the next stitch. This is the loop I've created for um, the cord. That's where you're going to place the cord at the top. And then you're going to continue and work half double crochets to the end of the row. Remember your loop for the cord has to be between the two middle stitches of your work. And then work half double crochet until the end of the row. And once you get to the end of the row, in the last stitch, which is the turning stitch, chain one and half double crochet in the same stitch don't turn back turn it to the height so you're going to work the height and we're going to join as we work along the edging of the height of the side of the top 
So we're just going to work half double crochets in all the rows at the back. So just follow the rows at the back. For the extra small in total you're going to work 35 rows which is the 16 stitches for the back the one stitch joining and the eight stitches of half double crochet and crossed half double crochet and then 10 rows of the half bun stitch For the other sizes, I have included everything in the written pattern. But if you're free forming, free handing, just make sure that you work until um, your backside is laying flat um, on top of the front. So it's not necessarily at the center, it's just laying flat. Um, at the back as you can see here see that's the what we're going for so you can just count and make sure that it's straight and flat so work half double crochet until the front and the back uh, meet and everything is level and flat then we're going to join at the corner So I'm going to continue until I've worked my rows. And when I get to my 35th row, I'm going to bring my corner from the back and align it with the edging to join, make sure it's flat as I said and then work half double crochet through the front and the back to join the two sides and then work another half double crochet and that's it, you've joined the one side together, as you can see. And then we're going to continue working the half double crochet edging until we are on the first half double crochet row just before the ribbing the first row of half double crochet that we worked which in my case is the 65th row and then in there we're gonna place two half double crochets chain two and then two more half double crochets this is the loop for your cord so you're going to be placing it at the top and then bringing it to the corner. I hope you can visualize it. And then from there, you're just going to finish working your half double crochet until in the ribbing stitches in your uh, 10 ribbing stitches until the end of the row and then just cut your yarn and weave it and weave in I'm not weaving in as I go along so it's gonna be a little messy but just cut your yarn and weave in and then we're going to work um, the other side of the aging
to work the other side you join the yarn at the very corner that is in your very last stitch which is your turning stitch so join your yarn at the very corner make a slip knot and slip through and then make chain two and then half double crochet sorry three and then half double crochet in the same stitch okay and then as you worked the other side work work half double crochet in 35 rows exactly the same number you worked on the other side so you're working your 16 rows at the back your middle row your eight rows at the front and then 19 rows of the half bun stitch Once you get to the 35th row, you bring your um, back towards your stitch, half double crochet the back through the front twice. And then continue half double crochet until you get to your first row of half double crochet so you're going to half double crochet in each half bun row until you get to the first half double crochet row that is the row before you rib stitch and then half double crochet two times Sorry, I did it once, twice, chain two and half double crochet again to form a loop for your cord and then work half double crochet in at the end of your ribbed stitch to finish the edging. cut your yarn and within ends and from here we're going to make uh, work the neck opening to work the neck opening go to your middle row the row that joins your front and the back the row where we made the chain for the neck opening for the exact number of rows you can find it in the written pattern your new yarn on that corner and then chain two and then work half double crochet around your neck opening so work half double crochet around your neck opening And I'm going to see you at the end of the row. This is worked in a round, so we're not going to turn at the end of the row. And I'll see you at the end of the row.
I'm now at the end of my row with my half double crochet and then I'm just going to finish and then join at the top of my chain 2 with a slip stitch. Then I'm going to chain two and work a front pulse, which is yarn over, insert through the front post, pull through, and then yarn over. Insert through the back of the post, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through three, yarn over, insert through the front post, yarn over, pull through three, yarn over, insert through the back post, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through three. And you're going to continue with the front post half double crochet alternating with the back post half double crochet until the end of the row and I'm going to see you at the end of the row this is the beginning of your ribbing around the neck area I'm now at the end of my row and I'm going to just work my last back post after crochet and join at the top of the chain two and from here I'm just going to repeat the back post front post half double crochet until I have a total of eight rows around the neck area so I'm just going to start this row and then work off camera so front post half double crochet in the front post back post half double crochet in the back post front post half double crochet in the back front post half post double crochet in the back post and continue until the end of the row and repeat this third row until you have a total of eight rows so you're going to repeat uh, the third, third row five more times until you have a total of eight rows around the neck area and I'm going to see you to make the cord and then show you how to insert it To make the cord, I have a tutorial for the cord I've included in the link in the description box below. But you just take two strands of yarn and then make a slip knot, right? And then split your yarn into two, and then your front yarn you yarn under, your back one you yarn over. And then pull through all three loops on the hook. Then yarn under, yarn over, pull through two loops. Yarn under, yarn over, pull through two loops. And continue. 
until you have um, your desired length. The length of the cord should be 80 inches to 100 inches depending on your bust size. So just work your cord um, 80 inches. This is an extra small, so I worked 80 inches. Extra small, small, medium, work 80 inches. Large, extra large, work um, 100 inches. Or you can work according to your desired length. And I'm going to see you to insert it into the top. When you've had your picture desired length, you just pull it through, cut your yarn, both strands, and then pull both strands through your loop. So the one stand is um, firm and the other one is the one you pull through to make a knot. Okay, you can make a few more knots to make it stronger, as I'm doing here. Alright. And do the same on the other side of your cord. And then you take your top, the back, lay it flat on the back. And then you're going to, as you can see, I haven't whipped in my ends, sorry. You fold your cord into half. Make sure it's exactly half on each side so fold it into half and then as you can see it's half and then take the folded side put through the middle loop that you previously made on your top and then Pull the two strands through the loop and then just pull through and make it tighter. Right, that's the first, and then take the one the right side of your strand and pull it through the left rope loop that you made on your top and then the left side of the strand pull it through the right side of your top and then make a knot and voila you're done with your top. If you enjoyed this tutorial, don't forget to subscribe and turn on post notifications so you know when I post the next tutorial. Until next time, thank you for watching.